what is going on everyone uh, my name is Stephen and today's video is about um, creating a jar file and uh, using spark submit to submit the uh, jar file so the application I wrote is basically a spark application uh, as you can see here this is my IntelliJ idea uh, text editor so I wrote a spark application that uh, basically a street basically stream data um, and uh, so um, this is uh, the part of the uh, data uh, the part of the code that I want to run and you can see here I'm using um, socket text stream uh, basically to stream the data from a, a local host port 999 so uh, I will not be going through the uh, code because uh, uh, that is not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a jar file and uh, submit the jar file using spark submit so without further ado let's get started so um this is my um a terminal so what i'll do is go to a uh, location where the project is so uh, i think it's uh, if i say uh, right ls so this is the idea project this is where i want to go so if i copy cd uh, paste idea project so uh, so the uh, project i want to uh, create a jar file of is uh, spark streaming so if i cd into spark streaming and ls so where i want to go is a uh, target um so usually you don't need to go into target but um you can go in there to check uh what uh, the type of files you have in there so in my case i'll just show you how to check so i'll go in there target cd target and press ls um ll so what ll we do is basically uh, uh list the uh provide the list of the files and the the type of mode of the files uh, if it's uh, the mode is executable or not so as you can see here so I've got like Scala 2.11 yeah so what I want to do right now is go back CD um, so I'm inside this past streaming project right what I want to do here is write SPT uh, clean so here I'm using SPT but if you don't have SPT installed in your um, Ubuntu system, you have to install it first in order to use it. So the way you can install it is go uh, into your um, uh, web browser and type uh, SPT download. So if you type SPT download, uh, you can you click on this URL. Uh, SPT uh, download SPT and you go ahead and look for the one that is available for your system in my case I use uh, Linux so I'll go for this one so when you are using this um, uh, commands here you may come across an error that says call is not in your local system so if call is not in your ubuntu you have to install it so you have to install it first so after you've installed call then you can go ahead with the rest of the commands so that will 
install SPT for you. So once the SPT is installed, then you can go ahead and use this command SPT clean. So, so what it will do is it will clean the uh, uh, basically all the this color 2.11. It will get rid of this and it will get rid of it and some other files there. Um, So we just have to wait a little uh, for the cleaning to, yeah, it's done. So now if I go into the target directory, right, um, you are not going to see uh, the scala. Yeah, so it's gone. So what you have to do now is go back um, and write uh, type SPT uh, package. So SPT package, we uh, basically create the uh, jar file, the uh, jar, uh, the, the dot jar file inside the um, the Scala uh, 2.11 directory directory. So it's going to take a bit of time. Um, what I do here is um, go back to my IntelliJ idea. So it's taking some time to uh, create the jar file. Uh, so you can see it's, it's, uh, we've got uh, Scala 2.11 uh, classes and some other files. So it's just compiling incremental right now. So it's a success. So if we go into our target directory, right? And if you type ls, um, ll, so you see we've got Scala 2.11 there, right? So if you go into the Scala 2.11, see the Scala, I'm typing, 2.11, and uh, ls, so here we've got our child, the jar file. It says uh, Spark Streaming 2.11, blah, 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 blah. So as you can see here on the left side, you can see we can like write and read the file. The, uh, we are not able to execute it. So in order to be able to execute the, the file, what you have to do is change the file mode. So if you type this command, change mode, ch mode, 777. What 777 does is it allows you, the user, to have access uh, to be able to execute, read and write the files. And if there is any group that is you now have access to this uh, system, the, the, those group will be able to use it, uh, be able to do the same thing. And uh, also, it also allows anyone to, you know, that have access to this uh, system to be able to do the same thing. So, what I'll do is uh, type the, the name of the file. So, I just copy it. and uh, uh, paste it there so um, enter so if I just uh, uh, have a look at it again you see it changed from red to green and uh, now you, we, you, um, we have read uh, write execute read write execute so 
now we are able to as we will be able to execute the file so what we do next is basically try to submit the uh, use spark submit to submit the uh, file so what i'll do is go uh, go to a new terminal um cd and uh, what i want to do is write spark uh, submit and uh, so spark submit what i want to do is um deployment is look basically i'm using uh, my system so i'll say deploy mode is uh, going to be client and uh, i have to specify class so in order to know what class is like that your code has yeah your application has you have to so here inside this color 2.11 you have classes so what you have to do is cd into classes classes um there now type ls so you have this this is basically the one that you have to go for all right um so it's a first stream dot class as you can see in my code here if i open my project um and src right um if i go into me this is the this is the uh the one i want to use this this one first stream of if you go into your target directory and scala 2.11 you see classes right so these are the uh, available classes here so this is the the second one is the one i want to run so i, was, I just um, specify down uh, which is a uh, first stream so um the next thing i want to do is specify the uh, master which is uh, basically local i want to specify the ports which is uh, two and uh, then i will now um the i will now uh, specify the um the jar file so um the jar file is located inside uh, Scala 2.11 so I'll just copy it from here copy and paste So if I run it now, it should work. So it's created spark session. There. Yeah. So now it's running. Wait, right, the spark job is running, and I think there is uh, somewhere here. Oh my, am I wrong? Um, so basically it can connect to local host 999 that, that is uh, what we specify in this job right you can't connect to it in order to connect to local host 999 what i'll do is um open a new terminal i'll i'll use the net cat command so i'll use nt uh, okay uh port number is 9999 so okay i think there is something wrong here um i forgot to use let me check the spark uh okay it's not empty it's nc so so it's nc okay nine 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 so now it's it's connected to the local host right now right so now you can see uh this uh the, the streaming has started so 
I'll just type some word right now. Um, to do basically just stream the data from the locals but um they say the reason it's taking time is because i gave it uh, um so if you have a look here if you have a look uh, at this call the seconds i specify is 60 seconds which is one minute so it's going to take about one minute so it should be ready soon so um so, so yeah um as you can see it's the job is now uh run as you can see um this is like the word i enter i've entered like just two times and type um uh write two times Two times and yeah um so that is how you basically submit a spark job um, uh, a jar file using spark submit so that is it from me thank you for watching and do not forget to leave a comment and a like also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this i'll be uploading more videos on like data engineering tools and how to use them okay thank you once again for watching uh have a good day bye